Hey everybody, today my brother and I are going to Leite's Flea Market. It is an indoor flea market from November through March. And last time we were here, we had some really nice scores. I got a 1973 Topps Partial Set for $5. And that set as it was put together is worth about $150. So I was looking for another great deal such as that today. Uh, there is one guy that always sells baseball cards here, has a really nice table. We're going to go visit him, but first we'll walk around a little bit and show you what they got. Baseball card table's over there again. Is it? Nice. Yeah, it's like nobody, nobody at it right now. It's like a lot of people closed up already. Yes. I feel like this place usually always bumping early. Power and bootlegs. Well, I can't get this. Those ones like off 50 cents. Yeah. They sold, sold over those for like 10 bucks a piece. Oh, yeah. Like the, the what do you think they want for that? Like a buck? There's a buck. I'd definitely buy a buck. Something over here might be interesting to your channel. I got these grab boxes for 50 cents. Really? Could like open those up on the channel and see what are they? Are they girls and boys? Grab box. Like a bunch of uh, like random stuff. stuff in there. Cards here. There's that box again. I might go look through that. It's like all commons. All right, this is the good baseball table. I'm going to go and buy a bunch of stuff from this guy. I'll let you watch as I peruse around. And at the end of the video, I will do a recap and go through every card that I end up buying and also open up some open packs. Either. I always like those whenever I get cards. Well, mixed, mixed years. <laughs> that would probably I think that was one. Stupid. <laughs> Fairfield was around there, too. Yeah, I, I got one like that recently. They made crap on the cards? Yeah. It's like the most random stuff. I'm, I might buy that. <clears throat> I bought a couple of those recently at huh? Fairfield. Craftsman made a lot of cards apparently. Oh, look at this. I bought one of those recently too. Hey, No, take that one out. Um, I don't see too many packs. How much is the uh, bobblehead and three and two please and two for them? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Oh, yeah, this is the bobble. How much are all these ones down here in the top loaders? What's that? What are, how much are these all different prices in here? No, those are like, yeah, they're definitely like $50, $50. I don't know how to Jackson rookie. It's got blemish on it, too. Yeah, no, probably. Bagwell and McGuire, too. Marcus Lynn Betts. Yeah, no, so no, that's, no. That's, that's, I think it's a short print. Not for a buck. I don't know what it's worth. It says 10 cents. It's all football though. There's some baseball mixed in. $5 
process. Tommy her rookie card for five cents. I'll probably all ask two for that. Okay. Two. I think I got five in Dollar. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve bucks for those. Okay. Can you use basketball card? Never seen that. Twenty-two for everything. Is that including this? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else real quick. I'll give you up for two. Okay. No three of them. Twenty-four. You got anything you want to throw in for a buck? I'll just give them all to you. Okay. Hi. How much is the uh, top spot? Thirty. Good. Did you find anything good? I got an old Mario. You see the 95 toss box? She said she'd be 30. I'll get that box for like probably 8 to 10 on eBay. If it was 89 upper deck. Yeah, it's all like 90s, 92 to 93. I don't know. Oh, like 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Ricky Henderson. Kid, it says Rick H. I can't tell who any of these guys are. It might just be a bunch of minor leaguers from the curb or whatever. We have no idea who any of them are. Yeah, I was just trying to figure that out. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know who they are. I don't even know who this guy is. Who's this guy? Should be able to know him. Though. Joe Carter? Huh? Yeah, it looks like... That's Joe Carter. Okay. Like I said, I don't know nothing yeah. about him. I'll, I'll, so, take, I'll take 10 bucks for both of them. She said $10 a piece. I'll take 10 bucks yeah. for both yeah, I'm pretty much done. Are you done? Pretty much just the one guy that has anything today. All right, it is recap time. I'm going to show you everything I bought at that flea market. This was all from the same seller at that baseball card table that I spent most of my time at. Uh, we have some baseball grab bags that I think I got these for two dollars for three of them. Uh, they're a dollar a piece uh, is the list price. He threw them in at the end there. I'm gonna open those up here in a minute and see if there's anything good. My brother also bought two of these. 
Uh, so look for his video to come out soon on Leite's Flea Market, and he's going to probably open those up in his video as well. Also got a team sign ball. This is from the Altoona Curve, which is the Pirates AA affiliate, and it looks like it's from right around 2003. I'm um, not sure who many of the signatures are. I did think I recognized Matt Caps on there, which you can see right there. Matt Caps was number 55 for the Pirates. Uh, known as the Big Bull Rider back in the day. He was the Pirates' closer for a few years. Then he all went on to pitch for the Twins, and I don't know who any of these other guys are. So I think these were like a dollar or two apiece. This other ball I got was a Giants National League ball. So this was from probably the 80s or 90s. It has a Leonard Coleman signature on it there. Uh, you can see the signature there. I'm not sure who it is, so I might need your help. Looks like the name might start with an E. That's a pretty crazy looking E. ES maybe are the initials. So if you know who that is, let me know in the comments. Also got a Jason Kendall bobblehead uh, complete with a ticket inside, which was pretty cool. I think that one was $3. Picked up a Baltimore Orioles umbrella. Uh, he had a bunch of different trinkets and stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, that one I believe was 2 bucks. Then this original 2002 Fairfield pack. That's right, Fairfield, which is in Target now um, and does all those Fairfield boxes with the guaranteed autos and stuff. They had a 35-card Fairfield pack way back in 2002. And now you get guaranteed autographs or relics. Back then, you were guaranteed a Hall of Famer. So let's open that up here in a minute and see what we get. And now let's um, look through all these singles. These were mostly five cents a piece. Uh, so you can see I got a big stack of them here. Um, I didn't want the video to be super long, so I kind of edited it out where I was picking out all of the cards. But we'll go through them. These ones on top were the ones that were the most. I got a Jose Ramirez rookie card there. Bryce Harper for five cents. And then I also picked up a Michael Kopech um, relic there. He had Tommy John recently, but he throws really, really hard. He had a few autographs that I picked up for about a dollar a piece. You can see James Nelson, Brandon Marsh, Edwin Rios. Always looking to get more autographs in my collection because people are constantly asking for autographs in Fan Mail Friday. A Carlos Correa bat relic, a Francisco Lindor jersey patch, a Will Craig autograph, the Pirates' number one draft pick not too long ago. And now these are all one cent a piece. I'll just go through them semi quickly here so you can see all of them. Um, and um, got a lot of Kyle Ripken Juniors, a lot of Nolan Ryans. There's a Tommy Herr rookie card. I'm not going to pass up a Kyle Ripken Jr. card for five cents, that's for sure. Uh, Nolan Ryan, 1990 tops. Some people say they like these cards. Uh, when I did the Throwback Thursday 1990 Tops break and people were seeing the 5,000 Strikeout Club, they were saying how much they liked them, so I picked them up. Uh, can maybe send those out to people that like the Mets, Rangers, Astros, Angels, and Fan Mail Fridays. I think this card books at like two bucks in Beckett. I mean, you can easily find that card probably for about a quarter at most card shows if you can find it. Brett Gardner rookie card was pretty sweet for five cents. And also a Jaime Garcia rookie card. As you know, I do love my rookies, so I'm never going to pass on a rookie card of a player that has been around for some time. There's a Willie McCovey for five cents. Not in good shape, obviously. You can see the back has a stain on it, but still pretty cool. Chili Davis rookie card for five cents. Ron Renneke and Steve Sachs and Mike Marshall, all who had pretty decent careers. Renneke was a manager for a while recently. Keone Kella. Rookie card, Sid Bream rookie, Daryl Strawberry, number one draft pick. This is a 1980 number one draft pick. It's not actually his rookie card. His rookie card was 83, tops traded, which I picked up about a month or two ago when I bought the entire set at a flea market for, I think it was like 10 bucks. Some more Kyle Ripken Juniors. He had lots of 89 tops. I picked all of those up. Roger Clemens, second year card, Robin Yount, 1985 tops. Robbie Ray, rookie card, not too shabby. Alan Trammell. 1980 tops. Here's another rookie card, Tommy Hurst. I guess I got two of him. Nolan Ryan, record breaker. 1985 tops. Bernie Williams, a rookie. Mike Mucina. Robin Yount, 1980 tops. I forget. Somebody likes Robin Yount. I think it might be Eric J. up in Milwaukee. So I always pick up some extra Younts whenever I see them so I can send them along to him. A few more uh, Brett Garner rookie cards for five cents. One of them being a chrome card, which is pretty nice. Will Myers rookie card, another Robin Yount. 
Sandy Alomar, rookie, Piazza, Gold Cup card. Jim Rice, Burger King cards. These are a little bit harder to find, so I wanted to get that one for sure. Robin Yount, some Griffies, 94 tops. Some more Griffies. Uh, what else we got here? Fred Lynn, another Burger King card. Jack Flaherty, rookie card, 1983. Tops design is pretty good. Some more Ripkins, some more Griffies. Five cents a piece. I'm not going to pass up any of those. A Schmidt, 1985 tops. John Cruck, rookie card, 86. Tops traded. What else we have here? Another Flaherty. Barry Bonds. This was the first ever card that featured Bonds in a Giants uniform, and it was only available through Atlantic, the gas stations. Basically, if you filled up with 10 gallons or more, you were entitled to a pack of five 1993 Fleer cards, and that was the first card ever produced to feature Bonds. And a Giants uni, Tipper Jones and Ozzie Smith, 83 tops. So those are all those cards that I got. Tons of cards for five cents. Loved the 10 cent boxes, so I was very pleased that he had a five cent box and it was filled with Hall of Famers and good cards. So I was not going to pass that up. All right, moving right along. Next up, let's do these grab bags. Not sure what we're going to find in here. I'm hoping they're good cards. They're a dollar a piece, so I don't know if they're filled with cards from his five cent bin or not. Um, we're going to find out. He only had five of these made, and my brother bought two, and I bought the other three. Let's see what we got. We got a Craig Kimbrell on the top, and all these cards are sticking together like a brick. So these cards are ruined. Um, you can see that there's no possible way I can even save these cards. Well, that kind of sucks. Pretty bad. 2014 Tops cards. So I'm just going to turn around and throw these in the trash. Just kind of throw them on the floor. We got some puzzle pieces here. Uh, now we get to the middle. Some 87 Tops cards and some other cards from the mid to early 80s. Not too bad like earlier uh, cards like that. Um, some other commons here. So far, nothing good in here. Vladimir Guerrero is not too bad. Lots of these. Um, what even is this? Pacific. All right, that first pack was a dud. Let's move on to the second pack. This Dave Rigetti looks like it has something going on. I'm going to toss that on the floor. I'll throw that away later. Pack number two. Always like to buy grab bags whenever I get a chance because you never know if you're going to find something good. My brother and I used to buy grab bags all the time at Discount Sports Cards, which was our local card shop when we were growing up. They were 50 cents a piece. They were in bags just like this. And usually the value of the cards usually equaled at least like, I don't know, three to five bucks. All right, we've got some Hall of Famers, at least on the top here, Schilling and Schmidt. Sandberg, this one is way better than the other one. A couple Sandbergs. That's what I'm talking about. This is a good one. Ozzy Smith. Now we're getting to some common strawberry. Uh, it's a good way to get rid of your base cards is to make grab bags. These ones are sticking together in the middle also. Fred McGriff is in there. Uh, the, when we went to discount, the good cards in the grab bag were always in penny sleeves with price tags on them. So basically he kind of liquidated a lot of his singles um, and just put them in grab bags. But it was super awesome. We used to literally go there every single day, ride our bikes there. I don't know. I don't know why our mom let us go down there. It was like way across town and everything. Probably like a 20 minute bike ride, but it was awesome. Here's our final grab bag. Bunch of Kevin Young rookie cards and there's more sticking together. Don't know how long these have been sitting there. So that could have something to do with the uh, cards sticking together. More Edgar Martinez cards, Dave Winfield. So at least there's um, Hall of Famers in here along with the commons. It's not complete trash. It's not that great either. Kind of middle of the road stuff. Some Kurt Schillings. Schilling will get into the Hall of Fame someday. Not this year though. Some more Sandbergs. And that is about it. So last but not least, I'm going to open up that Fairfield pack. From 2002, it says there's a guaranteed Hall of Famer in here, so maybe it's somebody really good. Hopefully a really old Hall of Famer. Different manufacturers make sure it's all original. Don't know how much this pack used to cost back in the day. I'm guessing like maybe a dollar or two. 2002. Let's see what we get in the Fairfield pack. And let's see what the Hall of Fame. It's going to be hard to identify the Hall of Famer because like right off the, the bat, 
you got Phil Necro as a Hall of Famer. So I don't know if that's the one they were referring to. Nolan Ryan is a Hall of Famer. I hope that's not the one. Uh, all these cards are obviously going to be from the 80s and 90s. Nothing um, beyond 2002. Bunch of commons there. Tim Raines is a Hall of Famer. But he wasn't in the Hall of Fame as of 2002. So that can't be the Hall of Fame card that they were talking about. I'm guessing that's probably going to be that Nolan Ryan, I guess. Which is kind of crappy because that card is way overproduced. Um, Steve Carlton is a Hall of Famer. That might be the one. I would definitely not buy this. If this was out today, this would never sell anything. This is kind of a cool card. Collector's Edition. I don't think I've ever seen these before. 1989 Fleer Collector's Edition. I've only ever seen the ones with the yellow stripe on the back. And then that's it. So that pack was literally worth like 25 cents uh, but pretty cool to open and just see what Fairfield used to offer back in the day obviously they've really upped their game now they put packs in there they put autographs and relics and stuff to make it more appealing to today's crowd I hope you like the flea market video everybody I have several more videos coming this week uh, from my brother and my trip to Central PA we also checked out uh, a card store up there another um, indoor flea market slash consignment store uh the live stream for this wednesday i try to live stream every wednesday but it is being moved back till saturday because of the holiday and everything they didn't ship my cards to me even though i purchased them last friday so i'm not going to have all the, the cases in until saturday and we'll do the saturday at eight o'clock p.m so look forward to seeing you then thank you once again for watching everybody i hope you had a very happy new year's eve and new year's day and i will see you later Okay, everybody, I wanted to end this with the giveaway finalist from the month of December. If you had your comment pinned, you are a finalist. So 8 Moves is a finalist, as is William Fessler, as is Ace L and Landon Heiss. Congratulations. Bradley Moore is a finalist. So is Matthew M., Truth be told, you are a finalist, and we'll be picking a winner on Saturday. Patrick Bowers is a finalist. John Stockton, maybe that's the basketball player. I don't know. Paige is a finalist. There are going to be three different pools of finalists. Eggman49 is a finalist. There's pin commenters. Francisco is a finalist. John Harvey is a finalist as is Lone Star Legends cards. There's going to be the top commenter, which I'll review all those tomorrow. Joey for Sports is a finalist. Rebecca Edwards, congratulations. RCB TV, Jeremy M. is a finalist, and also a random commenter from each video will also be picked. Eric is a finalist. Joester, another finalist. And Billy Stork is a finalist. We're getting... One from every single video, all 31 videos. Lalo, Fox, and News Bad Women are finalists. Julian is a finalist. Babel012, congratulations. Tom Green, congratulations. I hope that video is legendary in 10 years. Jim W., another finalist. Nick Solomon. So make sure you tune in to the live stream on Saturday at 8 o'clock. Joe is a finalist. Trent Evers is a finalist. And the last one is Aaron. You are a finalist. And I hope to get 50,000 subscribers, Aaron, by the end of the year. That's my New Year's resolution in addition to being cancer-free. Thank you so much for commenting all month long, everybody. And tune in tomorrow. I'll announce all of the top commenters. You could probably already figure it out, but I'll compile those for you. And then I will show you on Thursday all of the other um, random commenters that are going to be in our grand prize drawing on Saturday. All right, that's it, everybody. See you later.